Hello guitaristas, my name is Adina and you are watching the Spanish Guitar Hub and today I'm going to show you two ways or two methods to reach fast speed in the flamenco triplet and after this lesson you will learn something like this I just would like to say that I have a guitar course which is called Spanish Guitar Strumming Techniques and it has 19 lessons and loads and lots of exercises, very similar lessons to this one so you can learn like rumba, the flamenco triplet, up and run strumming to go st fast with your strumming and rasgado and it's available on Amazon or on my website on the link below and you can go to the Amazon or my website and I will send you the book or you can have the ebook as well and it comes with video lessons. So for this lesson you will need a metronome because we need the metronome to get faster and faster without that one we, it will be difficult to track or progress. So the flamenco triplet contains three movements and it is basically going down with your middle finger or middle finger and ring finger together as you wish and after you turn your wrist and you use your thumb and after you need to turn back. So movement with the fingers but do not move anything else and after you turn your wrist, turn back. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's all coming from the wrist and it is all the movement. So there are like few tricks that you need to do first to be able to play this properly. I just would like to say that flamenco players start the triplet in a different way because they start up with the thumb and I start down. But the reason why I start down because I would like to add later on the hits with few times and the only way to add the hit is starting down because it's one, two, three, and if you start up, then it is one, two, three, and you are turning so you can't put the hit. Okay, because everything is coming from the wrist, this is the movement. So what you need to be able to reach is play down and up with your wrist and tongue why everything is coming from the wrist. And it is like a turn, 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 turn. And after you can add the middle finger. So it is down, turn, turn, down, turn, turn, down, turn. As you can see, I do not move my arm, I'm only moving the wrist and if you move your arm, you won't be able to go fast and later on you need to reach a high speed. So the only way to do that one without getting tired as well to do everything from the wrist because later on it is like a shaking movement. So there are a few things that you need to do before you start using the metronome and the first thing is to make accents. So you can do like an accent on the down and after don't do any accents on the other ones. Accent means that you play a little bit louder the movement and after you will play a little bit quieter the rest. So it will be... That's when you make an accent on the down and after you can make an accent on the down turn. So this movement. So. And after you can make an accent on the up movement. So. Once you can do all of these things, the next thing that you need to practice is use your wrist. And because every movement has to come from the wrist. So you need to be able to do like a tara, like a turn, tara. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. 
You need to be able to hear three because if you just hear two, that's not enough. You need to hear three. So if you only hear two, it means that some movements are missing when you do the three. And after this, we are going to the first method to be able to play fast. Okay, now we know the movements, now we know that it comes from the wrist and that we have to do it with the turning movement and we need to go fast, so we will start using the metronome. I will put up my metronome to 100 BPM and then I will do one strum per beat and we will start going faster. You can start slower as well if you want or even faster, it is up to you where you start, but you need to start slow. So then we will play one movement with the metronome. Now we will go faster, 140 BPM. and 180 BPM. Now we will go back to 60 BPM, which is exactly the same speed like we did before, but we will start playing three notes per beat. That will be the easier. So it means that you will know whenever you hear the beep, you just need to go down and then when the beep is, then you do the down. And we will go faster, 90 BPM. If you feel like that you cannot keep up with the rhythm, this is your speed and you need to practice it like quite a lot every day until you reach the speed that you want. If you feel like that you won't be able to go faster, you need to look at your technique because sometimes you move your arm, sometimes you move too much, sometimes you are too far away from the strings, sometimes you do not turn enough or you don't use your wrist. So it could be your technique, the reason why you cannot go fast. And also it needs to be like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, ta ra 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 not one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Some people do the triplet and it's just like ta-ra-ram, ta-ra-ram, ta-ra-ram. That's not the right way. It needs to be like a floating and every movement is the same speed. The next progression is 120 BPM. To keep the speed better, it is great to use the leg. I'm using my leg with every beat, so it means that my whole body is moving and more on time. method will be with bursts. Bursts mean that you just do one quick triplet, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. and now we will use the metronome to connect these triplets. And we need to reach again 200 BPM, so it means that you need, we need to hear like breaks in between the triplets until we reach our speed if we do it fast enough. So let's start this speed with 60 BPM and we will just do burst and burst and burst and burst. Let's go faster, 80 BPM. Mm -hmm. 
100 BPM. One hundred and forty BPM. One hundred and seventy BPM, and we should still hear breaks in between the triplets. Quite difficult in 170 BPM, but you know that you are fast enough if you hear breaks in between your triplets still at 170 BPM. And of course, you can go up all the way to 200 BPM. This is a quite fun technique actually and you can use it in a lot of different situations. You can progress it more and then you can start adding the hits. Or you can use it with the rumba technique and it's quite nice to add it on the end of the rumba technique and also like it gives like a burst in the end. If you like this lesson please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this because I'm uploading videos on Sundays and I hope this video will help you to play better, to play more Spanish music and please spread the word among your friends and let's make Spanish music even more popular. And see you guys next week with another guitar video. Hello guitaristas, my name is Adina and you are watching the Spanish Guitar Hub and today we are going to learn how to sound more Latin when we add special harmonies to our scales and in particular we will look at the sixth note of the scale. So we will learn the C major scale in two different positions. We will make up melodies and harmonize them and 